Ciao, buonasera, arrivederci. No, don't go anywhere. Um, I'm here in Italy. I've got an Italian beer today to try. It's called Super Bitter from um, Baladin. And it's got Gusto Italiano on there. Now it's 8%. Have a look at this. So, super bitter. I have no idea what it is. I can't read anything on here. Uh, Bira doppio motto. I don't get anything from there. So I'm going to give this a pour. I've already said that it's 8%, I'm pretty sure. But it's 8%. There it is. Ooh, look at the colour of that. So... Let's have a smell. Oh, it's really fruity. Some high tropical in a real sweet sense kind of aromas on there. Um, yeah, I'm expecting this to be really kind of like a hop, very hoppy. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. it's not that at all it's a lot sweeter than it is bitter which is quite surprising I was expecting it to be bitter it's got bitter in its name um, there is a bitterness there it's kind of the finish of the mouth um, it kind of creeps its way in it's, but it's very sweet it's um it's more of a kind of a barley wine, but not really. It's got a certain hoppy kind of feel and flavour to it. Oh, I, I'm quite surprised by this beer. I don't really know what it is. Um, so, wow, look at the sediment in there. There's plenty of it. So, yeah, I'm getting a lot of sweetness now. It could be, this is obviously an Italian beer, I don't really drink Italian beers, don't really get the opportunity to. So, I have, I had a few tasters yesterday and one thing I've noticed is the yeast is quite differently flavoured. So it could be that this is a double IPA. Certainly it's a strong beer and it's definitely hoppy, so you'd call that a double IPA. But it could be that the yeast has actually given it a different kind of flavour to, um, to what I was expecting. I don't know. Um, it's actually really easy to drink, which means I've got to be careful because it is 8%. It has got a bitterness. It's coming in at the end of it, but I would say it was more sweet than bitter. Um, yeah, that's enough for me. Bye. Cheers.